I'm very pleased to have with us on the program right now, Illinois State Representative Mike Eunice. And, Representative, thank you so much, sir, for coming on the program this evening. Thank you, Cam. It's good to be with you. It's great talking to you. All right, so we uh, we had the big vote, or a big vote, uh, in Illinois last week, uh, and it was... It was disappointing for me. I can only imagine uh, how you must have felt, Representative. The final vote, uh, 65 uh, 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 votes, six shy of the supermajority needed for right to carry to pass out of the Illinois House. But you say the legislation is not done yet. Well, it's more than disappointing, uh, Cam. Uh, but, you know, we we can't stop working. I'm not going to stop working on this uh, issue. And, uh uh, we had more votes uh, this time than at any other time in the in the history of of the state uh, when voting on it in the in the state house. And when the vote was called, it got it climbed up to 68 votes and needed 71. And when the, a few people saw that it wasn't going to pass, it fell back down to to 65. So we're gonna we're gonna keep working on it. It's right now on postponed consideration. Uh, and I I hope and I'd like to be able to see it uh, come up one more time before the end of this session. Uh, yeah, and to that end, uh, Representative, I mean, are, are you talking to um, others in the, uh, the in the House there? Do you think that you can get those six votes that you need? Well, there's a lot of discussions going on. I'm one of the chief co-sponsors of the bill. I'm working in bipartisan fashion with the, the sponsor of the bill, Representative Brandon Phelps. Uh, there's been a lot of discussions with the NRA, and then I know that there's a lot of uh, representatives up in uh, Chicago that are uh, uh, being talked uh, to and to see if there's anything that we can do to get those extra three to six votes that we need. But, you know, it's, it's, this is just such a um, frustrating issue, uh, Cam. I mean, in our state, in Illinois, there's, there's so many things going wrong. I mean, we have a $15 billion deficit. Mm-hmm. We have the worst funded pension system in America. We have the worst workman's comp system. Uh, we're in debt out the wazoo. But uh, with all that going wrong, somehow there are people uh, that think that they have this issue right and that 48 and soon to be 49 states have it wrong. Uh, it's just it's ridiculous. And if it, it, I'll tell you, if it wasn't so ridiculous, it'd be comical. Well, yeah. And unfortunately, uh, as you say, I mean, it really is serious. The, the, the state of Wisconsin uh, has two uh, carry bills that have just been introduced. They're going to have their first public hearings on Thursday of this week. Representative, when you hear about that, the only other state in the union right. <laughs> without any uh, concealed carry laws on the books, when when it really is a matter of do we want to be the last state in the country to take up this issue, does that have any resonance with your uh, your fellow lawmakers? Well, it does for the vast majority of the state, yeah. but uh, unfortunately, uh, Chicago politics... Uh, uh, in this state, have a, a pretty large voice, and um, you know, I, I think you're right. I mean, the the, the opponents will argue that we're going to turn into the wild, wild west, which is just such a fallacy. Uh, the, you know, how can 48 states be wrong, and the proof is in the pudding? You know, they say some people are saying let's have a test area. Mm-hmm. Well, we do have a test area. It's the rest <laughs> of the nation. <laughs> And so, you know, the, it's not going to turn into the wild, wild west. The statistics show the crime rate drops, and uh, it's just an issue that uh, we have to keep working on. And and uh, there's a lot of people uh, that, that are working very hard on it, including myself. Well, all right. Uh, so now those, those Chicago land uh, politicians that may be reluctant for this, you know, uh, the, the day that that vote was taken in the House, uh, you had soon-to-be former Chicago Mayor Richard Daley say that, that when he leaves office, he wants five bodyguards. He right. wants round-the-clock protection. Uh, he's opposed to right to carry, but he believes that he is entitled to around the clock security. Why aren't the people of Illinois uh, able to, to have their own... Pro- I mean, look, not everybody can afford a bodyguard, but, exactly. but a lot more of them could afford a, a firearm of their own uh, to protect themselves. Why, 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 why can't they exercise that right? You're exactly right, and in fact, that that example came up on the House floor uh, during during debate. I, I'm a I'm a freshman legislator here in the, in the state of Illinois. Yeah, and um, I ran to to try to right some of the wrongs, many wrongs that are going uh, on here in the state, and try to return the state to fiscal sanity. And and I think the message here is that if we keep electing the same people. You know why should we expect different results? And 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 you know I think we have to really drive that uh, home that uh, this really doesn't make sense. Um, 
there's, like you said, um, Wisconsin will, will probably be the 49th state with it. The governor has said he's going to sign it, and we will be the only state in the nation without some sort of carry law. Well, listen, Representative, I, I can't thank you enough, sir, for all the work that you're doing. As a, uh, as a freshman legislator, I have to ask you, uh, w- d- does reality measure up to what you thought the experience would be going into the session? <laughs> well, it's been quite an experience, and I'm very honored and, and humbled to, to have the opportunity. And, and quite honestly, I didn't know what to expect. So I came in with a, an open mind, and, um, you know, I'm just working my tail off every day. And, uh, again, just very honored to, to have the opportunity to be there. Well, thank you, Representative. I look forward to talking to you again very soon. And, uh, again, thank you for all your work, sir. Sounds great. Thank you very much. State Representative Mike Eunice joining us from the great state of Illinois.